and Development. He currently serves as the Assistant Vice President for Campus Engagement at Williams College in Massachusetts. And um, Bilal and I have been involved in uh, some social justice activism for a couple of years together. Um, and uh, he is a person um, worth learning from. So I am really excited to uh, uh, introduce Bilal. And Bilal, please feel free to take it away. All right. Well, I am just um, excited, um, you know, first of all, to be here amongst you. Um, or I think June um, and also um, Chad, who I also work with, I have the pleasure of working with, uh, for uh, reaching out and, and, um, and uh, having me be a part of this. I have uh, a case that I want to present um, this evening of a, a success story where um, multiple teams of seasons um, emerging uh, um, scientists around data came together around 19 years ago um, from Yale, from like Wesley and from a few of the, few of the uh, schools in, um, in, um, in, like a, in, a, in like New England. We were looking at this, we were looking at like social scientists and also activists. I was one of the, uh, I was a younger activist at the time, um, working on a problem. Um, the campaign was called Yale, don't lean on me. And I'm going to put uh, the uh, research uh, within the chat when I'm finished. But we came together to ask some compelling questions. Um, we wanted to ask, um, how do we gain support uh, for, uh, for, how do we gain support around arguments that support the recommendation that nonprofits for healthcare and also, and also educational institutions such as Yale New Haven Hospital and Bridgeport Hospital and the Yale, uh, Yale uh, Medical School uh, should, as, uh, should as a policy refrain from using liens on poor people's homes? That was our question. That was our research question. So we got together some data uh, from, some, from uh, neighbors who were um, impacted by this. Uh, we did interviews. Um, we did a. We also did a conditional uh, like uh, analysis of data on some real estate and some uh, demographic data, and also turned up some several. We turned up several, um, um, you know, like findings. One was that the Yale medical system uses liens routinely, um, rather than as a last resort, but as one of the first resorts, and it was. Uh, we found that it was disproportionate um, um, and it had a, a devastating impact on uh, those who were in debt, um, who had medical debts and it, it, it attacked uh, their ability to get mortgages in the future. It, it also attacked their, uh, their, their records. Um, two, we found that Yale Hospital and uh, a medical school put liens um, on, on New Haven but also the surrounding towns that were also poor. Um, uh, so they, we found uh, how widespread uh, there through this, uh, this deep uh, 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 dive. Uh, we did this over nine years. We, did, we, went, we, we searched data you know, for nine years back and we found the numbers and the math to kind of build our case. Um, and then uh, we were able to show where racially that although 21% of New Haven's uh, population uh, were Black and Latino, um, over 30% of uh, the liens were on Black and Latinos. Uh, uh, so this clearly showed that there was some targeting. So this helped to build our case. Um, so how does this, how was this addressing real world injustice? Well, you we were able to show in data, in real numbers, some um, stats don't lie that there was systemic economic and racial like oppression. Um, and that was powerful. Um, it helped to inform the activists and organizers. Um, and so um, we were able to, to rally and create marches. Um, we appealed to legislators uh, for the protections against unfair billing uh, practices. As a result, a bill was signed into law um, um, and it lowered the maximum uh, judgment 
on interest um, on on debt from the uh, from ones who was being sick from 10% down to 5%. Uh, we were able to promote the access to available like charity resources to curb aggressive tactics such as wage uh, wage uh, like uh, like uh, uh, they were they were um going in to uh to, to, to like uh to like a uh, garnish wages uh, they were doing executions on banks and they were doing home uh, foreclosures and so but it was, still wasn't enough there was still a lot of pain and, and, and suffering so through gathering this data we found the you know, personal narratives and we crafted a, a document and a web and a web web presence and we created this a data driven and an informed public um uh, uh shaming um uh, like a campaign um that was effective and it was well researched and these articles in a booklet um helped to win a social justice victory and this victory was that yale forgave 18,000 liens on the homes of black and brown people. Um, 18,000 liens were washed off the books. And so this is just one case that I just wanted to show that when we come together um, with the data and analysis and with activism, um, we can really make an impact. Um, I have the opportunity uh, to work with a team on some uh, within a town around racial justice and peace reform. We have the data. Now we just need to form the questions um, and to look at this data um, to, so, so, so that we can create a campaign successfully um, in uh, a town that is suffering from uh, racial injustice, historic, um, and uh, a like, police department uh, that has a Hitler sign uh, had a hit sign for 19 years uh, hanging up uh, that had uh, uh, uses the N word like regularly by cops and nobody's being fired. And so we have cops that are found guilty on things and just move from one shift, you know, you go to a to a less uh, uh, from first shift until the third shift. So we are going to able to scrub this data to find out um, where. Um, look at to see where these injustices are, find some patterns and create a campaign and hope um, to make some real um, change. Um, I'm excited, that's all I have. I just wanted to share with you a success story. I just wanted to share with you, share with you a, to, to, to tell you that this has been done before, we have been successful before and we're gonna be successful again. I look forward to working with anybody. If anybody has any other questions, um, please reach out. And I'm going to put it in, put the link uh, to my to the research in the chat. And peace. Thank you so 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 much, Bilal. Um, yeah, there is so so much to be done in this space. So we're um, super grateful for your um, <clears throat> insights and the experience here. And I think the kind of project that you're talking about is what. Q side is made of, um, you know, and so I, I, it's really great to hear about these success stories. Um, it can, it can be abstract, and this is um, absolutely wonderful to hear about your experience. So thank you. Um, 